Yahoo! Prof here, and today we have some Pokemon pulls for you. As you can probably see by this amazing packaging, it comes courtesy of me buying it off of Amazon Warehouse, and it's one I am super pumped actually about. It is the Mega Tyranitar EX Premium Collection. I hadn't even known this one existed before. And I am pretty darn confident it's legit damaged. Like not actually broken or anything, but like check that box out. That, I think that's about as damaged as you get. Well, still being useful. Or usable, I should say. So this side's already popped open. Let's hope everything's in there. If it's not, Pretty easy, it just goes right back to the old Amazon. One of those cards was knocked out, the Tyranitar EX. Okay, we got our Tyranitar EX here. The Mega Tyranitar is still in the front. Then we have a Non-opened, which is good. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. We have a XY Evolutions. Here we have the online code. Then we have X and Y Fates Collide. X and Y Steam Siege. Sun and Moon. And another X and Y Steam Siege. And a Tyranitar Spirit Link? Is this one supposed to be in there? Let's check the box. Oh crap guys. I need to take a picture. Gotta put it all back. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I got my pictures taken. We got the box. It all seems legit guys. That Tyranitar Spirit Link is supposed to have Take a look at the back of the box here. You know, like it. Yeah. I'm supposed to have one foil card featuring Mega Tyranitar EX. One foil card featuring Tyranitar EX. There you go. One Spirit Link to get his Mega uh, Mega Evolution Pokemon into play. One collector's pin, six boosters, one oversized card, one coin, one online card. It's all there. We is good. So let me pull all this. Lay back out. Ugh, I put it away actually better than it came. To take like two pictures, you know. All right. Pretty much all these I've opened up nowadays. So, got those right there. Alright, well, the battery cut out right in the middle of that. So here is what I was saying, is the Tyranitar pin. A nice gold back one. We'll take a closer look once we get down on the little on the tripod there. And here we have the big boy Mega Tyranitar big Make a Tyranitar EX. So is that a bigger card than the GX cards or no? So far the GX cards are the biggest physically. I would say it's about the same. No, just a, a hair shorter I'd say actually. GX cards are still physically bigger. Oh, and I can see why this, why it might have been opened and returned. This one, luckily it's just a big card. It is creased towards the top here, and that's, it actually did get hit from the back. Now, it, most people don't actually, some people, I'm sure, collect the big cards, but um, it's not like torn in half or anything. Especially with the fact that I was able to get this. And, I, um, and for the price I got it, I am happy. I didn't even notice it right away, to be truthful. Alright, well, uh, down to the grill pod. 
seen a bit. And we're back. Made up some sleeves. Uh, yeah, there's three here because I thought I might as well sleeve the Tyranitar Spirit Link just to keep it with the other two dudes. Um, so, let's take a look. These guys are bent that way and that way. Now, as you saw, the box was a bit beat up. I don't know if that had something to do with it or, as always, most of these promo cards are usually beat up to some extent, sadly. Um, and then that was Tyranitar EX, and then here is Mega Tyranitar EX. It's actually a little bit more beat up, a little bit more curved than the other guy. I mean, if I ever happen upon a better copy, maybe. Um, but, uh, otherwise I am perfectly happy with these guys here. Okay, and then we have our Tyranitar coin. I'm gonna slip that in one of the black sleeves here, that's why we have them. And then we you can see a little bit closer up of the Tyranitar pin. And then it is gold back, so it's one of the nicer ones. Sleeve that up right away too. I'll have to find a place to store all the coins that are sleeved up and the pins. Maybe if that, uh, if you saw earlier where this came out of that haul video, there is a, uh, they call it the, uh, can't remember, it's the lunchbox. That's what I call it. It's a lunchbox, okay guys? Um, the lunchbox that's dented up. We can probably keep her in there. So Mega Tyranitar EX followed by Tyranitar EX. And this one probably doesn't need to be sleeved. But I want to keep it with because it is it is part of this this box here. You know. Oh, and uh, for the online code, if you guys want that, hit me up over on Twitter, at the process, throw me a follow, send me a you know, tweet at me, let me know what um, code you, online code you're looking for, and I'll gladly, gladly, gladly send you one over. Um, I do dabble. I dabbled in the Pokemans online, because I don't really have anybody to play against at the moment. Um, at least easily accessible, so I thought I'd, you know, dip my dip my toes just to see how how you know, like how the game played again far easier than Yu-Gi-Oh which is what I actually played more of um, and it was a little bit when I was a little bit older too so here we have uh, Steam Siege let's get two of those for those who have a short memory Two Steam Siege, one Fates Collide, one Sun and Moon, one Guardians Rising, and one XY Evolutions. Which is my bay, which is why it's at the end. Oh, and I already tore it in half. Look at those skills, guys. Let's just get out the Slicey Boy here. Still sticking with the Cerakote White Tactical Keychains, since it's what's normally down here. And we're off. We were off to the races. There you go. We're off to the races. Online card. One, two, three. Alright, I got a Halucha. Alright, Halucha. Ambipom? Does he have two tails? Or something? I don't know. Never heard of this guy. Ambi sounds like two. Must have two tails. Or, or thumbs? Does he have thumbs? I don't know if Apom has thumbs or not. No, Apom does not have thumbs. Maybe he's got, because like, it, you know, Ambidextrous is two hands. So yeah, it's got to be two tails. Rapidash. 
Ponard, Ponard, Ashwat, Rufflet, Tangula, Krogunk, Reverse Hollow, Litlio, and a Hoopa, which is a legendary Pokemon, I think. I have a deck based on that, I believe. Team Siege, number dose. Let's see if I can do this one a bit. Oh, there we go. Game part actually is super, super easy. I don't know. It's kind of faint on the smell there. Alright, online card. These are a little bit bent. A short way, I think. One, two, three. And some of these are bent the long way. Very interesting. Captivating Poke Puff. Azumarill. I think I had this one already. Or it's like fairy water and like split like that. And it's uh, yellow. Because I thought Azumarill. And it's got the long ears. Um, I thought it was just a bigger Meryl. Like, might be wrong. Because the little one with the giant tail, that's like the baby one, I believe. Might be wrong. Fletchinder. Mankey. That makes me think where uh, your your uh, Goku in Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, and you're climbing that one tower. That's what that reminds me of. Like, he, he's just getting... You just getting beef right there, that manky man. Fungus. I have not seen that one before, but it is quite cute. It's got a Pokeballs as hat. Bergamite. Joltik. That's a pretty cool looking Joltik. Very uh, XY Evolutions background there for the uh, electric energy style. Man Mantine. Reverse Howl. Meryl. It's pretty dope. Oh, we got a spicy pull there, guys. Mega Gardevoir EX. I'm pretty sure I have a Gardevoir. Maybe even a Gardevoir EX. I'm not sure which, but that is dope. This this one must be Steam Siege must have these like split ones, but split fairy psychic. Mega Gardevoir EX. That's a, that's a pretty spicy pull, I'm pretty sure. Either way, it looks dope. I like it, and that is what matters, guys. Uh, I do like the, the fairy pull, though, right before that. And the Azumarill, a little bit before that. That was, a, that was a heavy fairy pack there. Fates Collide, next up here. Oh, 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 we tore, uh, yeah, we're just gonna knife it. Be careful with the knife, guys. Ugh. It tore a chunk up someplace. Anybody see where that went? Like, legit, I don't know where it is. That's gotta be one of my dirtiest openings. Online card. Remember, this is Fates Clyde. One, two, three. Alright, we have a random receiver. Don't know if I've had that one before. Excuse me. Odd Dino? Odd Dino. Yeah, so it's, it's like audio. Audino? Audino? So it's A U D I O would be a audio wiggly tough Min Mincino, I believe it is Gothic Gothita Solosis 
Snivy. Snowball. I have a reverse hollow on those. Let me have a reverse hollow Relo. I believe I have one of those. Or Riolu. Sorry. Oh. oh. I, uh, that's a pull. A hollow. It's like very faintly hollow. It's like a matte hollow. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. That's super weird. I will try again in a second here. So would it, like normally the hollows are like shiny. This is a hollow for sure. But it's not shiny. What kind of is? So you can see it's kind of shiny, right? But then look at the Mew. I don't know if you can see it there. But it's actually like a different texture for the Mew. Like it's not hollow. That's pretty freaking dope. I quite like that one. Alright. That was Fate's Collide. I thought that went pretty well. If you guys uh, need a Relo Lou, let me know. Or Rio Lou. Let me know. Got Sun and Moon up next here. Oh, that, all of these are just tearing. They're not not the guy from uh, Lions Tech Tips. Has it that tearing? Not tearing. Bone Sweet, I see you, Bone Sweet. Why is the code? Some of these codes are always like. There's our online card. I don't like the codes that are face out. Oh, I just got a peek of something here. I'm cheating, guys, unintentionally. Alright, we got Pinsir. If you've seen a different video, we just had that random 60-pack from Walmart that you shouldn't buy. Go back and check out that video. Um, we had one of these in there. Team Yelgrunt, I, or Team Skullgrunt. There's a Team Yelgrunt, too, or something like that. I have plenty of each. They come in a lot of decks. Metapod, dope looking Metapod. A little puffy, I think, a little floofy, a little... It looks like foam. Some of these don't look that, like that. Bone Sweet that we saw earlier. Lily Pup. Paris. That's a freaking action pose for Paris right there. There was one. Firo. I have played with that Firo online quite a bit. Litten. Poliwhirl. I might actually have one of these. Reverse Hollow Poliwhirl. Followed by... Uh, not secret rare, but like full hollow crazy craziness hollow. I don't know what these are called. You guys should tell me down in the comments. Gum shoes. GX. Well, was from young young goose. So it's like a mongoose, young goose. And here's gum, gum, gums hoose, gums hoose, or, or gum shoes, something like that. GX with a upside down energy. Hmm. 2017. Makes sense for the box. Gum shoes. Oh, is it gum shoes or gums hoose? Who's? Because it's, it's mongoose. We got on our happy, like, dude, we're fucking lifting this box. We're just pumping. Pumping the iron. Alright. That was Sun and Moon. Now we've got Guardians Rising. Ooh, that was a that one was sealed. Let's give her a little little pull here. Ooh. Fresh, fresh, fresh Pokemon card there. 
online card here. One, two, three. All right, we got Komala. I haven't done a ton of Guardians Rising because I think I only get them in like I've just got Guardians Rising packs anymore. Enhanced Hammer, Aqua Patch, Rock Rough, Tailo, Nose Pass, Salandit, Murkrow, Reverse Hollow Pat Rat. Have one of those so. Anybody's interested in a really common reverse hollow, let me know. Victory Bell. Pretty dope art. Very like I forget what that I keep calling it high key, but it's not. Like it's the very heavy outline. And a water energy. Definitely have a pat rat already. And reverse hollow. Alright. So not not so great on that one. I don't know if I've had great luck with Guardians Rising, to be truthful. And saving the best, or at least my favorite, for last. XY Evolutions. Let's hope... Oh, and I'm going to destroy the package. You can already tell that. Let's watch Ellie destroy the package. Oh, uh, the code card. Uh, look, I do want to give them away to you guys, but I don't want to, like, give them away to you guys, you know? One, two, three. Can we get something good? We have a Machoke. A coughing. Classic. Classic image. Kakana. We got some more N64 graphics there. Ponyta. Yeah, see, I, I swear one of the newer ones has positive and negative not swapped. Pretty sure they're supposed to be swapped if we're going by, you know, OG classic terms here. Magnemite. The classic Pikachu here. I don't think, I might probably have one of those. Not too many, actually. Machop. Oh, oh another Weedle, of course. D Evolution Spray. And I think I've already got one of these. I think I've even commented how that's like too, hot, like too fluorescent. And then a Doug Trio. I think that's actually what I had after the last one. Hmm. Totally interesting. Still think we did pretty darn well at this box. To double check that though, we'll be going through all the pulls that I managed to get. As soon as I uh, slip this dude over there. <clears throat> So, from the box, we have Tyranitar, Mega Tyranitar EX. Ooh, you have two Pokemon tools attached to it. The 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's act. Like, you're just fucking crushing them. Just, uh, Tyranitar EX. Then we have a non how Tyranitar Spirit Link, but it was part of the thing. We'll keep those three together, you know? Just like one should. We got Litleo, Reverse How. Not my favorite, but, you know. Then we have a Meryl, Reverse How. I was quite happy to uh, get that one here. Um, definitely, I think the image style definitely fits Meryl as a Pokemon. Then we have the first hefty pull here, Mega Gardevoir EX, looking freaking dope. Like that, that is a nice card. I think like these dual ones seem to be unique from what was that Steam something, Steam Siege? Maybe I haven't seen them elsewhere. So at least that I can remember. Then you have a Riolu, if you need a reverse holo Riolu, let me know. I think this is number two or three for me. 
Then we have the one that surprised me the most here, which is a Mew standard hollow, but it is like a matte hollow, and the Mew itself is not hollow. It's just super interesting. And we have a Poliwhirl reverse hollow, which I also already have. Um, so if you guys are interested, hit me up. Then we had our, our besides that Mew, we had our third here. I think it's it's either Gums Gum Shoes or Gums Gums Hoose. Gums Hoose? I'm, I'm thinking because of Mongoose, Gums Hoose. I'm thinking more towards that, personally. That's one of those fancy, like, outlined, not the rainbow ones. It's not like a secret rare or something. It doesn't exceed past... It's 145 out of 149, but it, it is one fancy pants hollow. Then we have a pat rat, which, hey, if you guys are interested, hit me up. i got plenty of those dudes to go around. And I have another reverse hollow de-evolution spray, which be willing to trade away as well. Or sell away or whatever, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we made out pretty darn well. Um... You got that Mega Gardevoir EX, that Mew, and the Gum Gums Hoos. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. There, I was pretty pumped for some of these guys. And uh, you know, subscribe for future videos. Uh, we'll have uh, two more. Oh, one's a deck uh, from the last Amazon Poke Hall. Um, the non-deck, which is the Charizard Wave Voltage deck, which is still interesting, but it'll probably be fine, is this big old dented up lunchbox. So, I'm and to me that looks factory wrapped still, so I'm guessing it just got dented, it might even got pulled before it got sold. Um, or just sent back as soon as they saw that giant old crater in the front there. So, uh, hit subscribe. Notifications. Uh, if you want uh, more readily accessible, hit me up as at Tech Exchange though on Twitter and Instagram, and I push updates out that way as well. We'll see you next time, and have a good one.